First off, I want to apologize. I've been back from YouTube for about two weeks now, and I still don't have a regular video up instead of this. The reason is because I was going to have my collab with IC22487 up today, but he's running behind on his portion, so we're going to try to have that up next weekend. So for now, enjoy the Sir Calco highlights. Next week we'll have the collab, and, and then the next week will be an April Fool's video. Yep, three videos in three weeks. Hope that makes up for leaving YouTube for a while. Alright, let's get into the highlights. Yo, what's up? It's Sir Calco Highlights. Blah, blah, blah. Something that rhymes with highlights. Word, peace out, bro. Whatever rappers say. Hey, have you seen all these memorable Pokemon? Like this electric mouse. Or this pink ball of puff. And these eggs. Uh, why are they here exactly? In this mode, Bowser kidnaps the princess. Again. 100 points for creativity, Nintendo. For Peach's sake, combining three of one Pokemon to one doesn't make it a separate Pokemon. Ugh. It's just... Yeah. Doug Trio is not at all creative, so that's why it's here at number eight. But looking at the bright side, at least Game Freak hasn't done the same mistake twice. Oh, wait a minute. Lucina is just a stinking clone! Also, I want to point out Voltorb's self-destruct as an attack. And when you heal it, it's perfectly fine and not in multiple pieces. The ending just depends on the difficulty level you play. In most, Toad will tell you the princess is in another castle. Who else has wanted to smash Toad every time he said that? Palatina STINKS! Muck is just not creative. Sometimes I just wish Grimmer had a different evolution. You know what? I bet even I can come up with a better evolution. Everyone, meet the new evolution to Grimmer. The Grimmer Reaper. Still better than Muck, though. Hey, yo, people! I'm Sir Calco, and welcome to my Calco review of Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS for the Nintendo 3DS. Gee, what a creative title. However, this time there's a twist. All the levels Mario has to go through now are made by the players. Wait, so if we're making levels that help Bowser, does that mean we're betraying Mario? Hashtag deep plot. We fit trainer. What? Why? Shulk is unfortunately not a mix of Shrek and Hulk. A guy can dream, okay? Just look, there's no design difference. All they did was make him big and mad. See, just look at what I can do. I can make an entire new character that's just a bigger and angrier version of me named Ocklock. That's creative, right? No! And there's always the satisfaction of getting a legendary Pokemon. Well, satisfaction for you. Your opponent will more than likely be dead. Starting with Melee, Smash has been known for packing tons of content into its games. Smash 4 is no different. There were literally so many modes, it actually blew up someone's DS. What? You don't believe me? Come on, you can trust me, I'm on the internet! There are also some new characters. Mario and Yamamura are the two characters who help you out in the manual of the game, as well as sometimes on screen. Oh wow, Mario! That's an original name! I can't at all think of how Nintendo thought of that name! You can even play as a Goomba! And you can make him betray his kind and kill them. Next is Stock, arguably the most used mode. In this mode, you have a set number of lives, and when you lose them, you're gone from the battle for good. This mode is easily my favorite of the three, as here you don't have to worry about KOing someone, as you just have to try to be the last one surviving. Sometimes I just hide and let everyone else fight, and the last person gets killed easily by me. But Kalko, isn't that cheating? No, 
it's a battle strategy. Yeah, that that's it. But just look at Mario! It's not like Nintendo made Mario bigger and angrier and made an entire separate character out of- Oh, wait a minute. Not to mention you can customize fighters now. Now you can make custom characters for personal use, like giving them extra stats or even new moves. Customizing is great to use, especially to make certain characters more bearable to play as. I'm talking to you, Palutena. And then there are the characters that represent several tools. The undo dog helps undo things, the bird helps you add your voice to the level, and the rocket ship can help you erase everything you've made. Mr. Rossetti would not approve of that. It's just... Yeah. That's like me creating a separate character that just has longer hair. WHAT HAVE I CREATED?! Luckily, he's not too tough. Just get a fighter with a handy moveset and beat him. Oh, gosh. I just realized I made an accidental pun. I am so, so sorry. <coughs> Have you ever wanted to play as a Mahjong tile? Um, what? Well, now you can! Now you can play Super Mahjong Tile Bros. Or Super Master Belch Bros. Or what? Hello Kitty? They added Hello Kitty in this game? Now there is one good way to use Magikarp in competitive battles. If you put one on your team, you can confuse your opponent so much they can't even control their moves. The other main non-exclusive sub mode is All-Star Mode. Other main non-exclusive sub mode. That's an interesting way of putting it. And there is one main new thing in Super Mario World gameplay-wise. Mario can now spin jump on spiked enemies' heads. Seal. It's the most uncreative Pokemon to ever exist! Just look at Seal's name! It's ridiculous! Seal's name is literally just Seal with the A replaced with an E! How lazy can you get? And the design! Look at just how generic this design is! They literally just took a seal and put a horn on its head! For crying out loud! Why does this even exist?! It's really not that hard, as the Mies have very low defense. Just one hit will send them flying. Of course, I have to talk about the Super Mario World style, because some Mario fans would probably kill me if I didn't. And I mean that quite literally. IT IS SO ANNOYING TO BEAT! Literally, if you don't have any moves Geodude is weak to, every single move you use will only do a tiny bit of damage. This was very tiring, and literally took me about 10 minutes to beat. And you'd better believe I celebrated whenever I beat it. So, you can also stack enemies onto each other, and any additional enemy will stick on top of the enemy on the bottom. But that... That can lead to very dangerous situations. Just imagine you're peacefully running through a level, and this happens. <laughs> 100 Man Smash is practically the same thing, except there are 90 more Mies to fight. <laughs> Mies! The exclusive power to this style is the Propeller Mushroom, which lets you fly upwards into the sky. I love this power-up. You could even say it makes levels a breeze! Get it? Because it creates wind, and wind is also called the- Okay, I'll stop. Now, depending on what difficulty you choose, you'll have to fight a boss at the end, which is always the master hand. Doesn't that just strike fear into your heart? Mr. President, we're under attack! What? What is it? Angry mobs? Aliens? Dank memes? No, sir. It's... A hand! No! Nintendo.
where nightmares come true. Parent approved! You go, Geodude. You are one bad Pokemon. Ah! And of course, there's the fan favorite Cape Feather, which can swipe at enemies, makes Mario's fall slower, and even lets them fly over the course. Huh, you created a really complicated course for me to play? Well, too bad. Since you gave me the Cape Feather, I can fly over the whole level. Time is up, your stats are finally put to use as you finally have a battle with your three competitors. This final battle varies between playthroughs. It could be a battle, a race to reach the top of the stage, or... Target Blast! What's the point of collecting all those stats if the only one you use here is attack? Now, this wouldn't be a great Mario level creator without the question blocks, which you can place power-ups in. However... Nintendo extended on this a bit too far. Imagine you've gone through a really hard level and you finally see an item box. You jump up to hit it. And then a chain chomp comes out of it and kills you! Ugh. You think that would be it, but there are actually two additional modes I have yet to talk about. Now do you believe me about the exploding 3DS? No. Why not? Isn't the internet always right? One year ago. Oh look! They announced Pokemon Z and it's going to be coming out soon! Oh man, what, what new features are there gonna- Fantendo! 